guys, today I am still back in London and I am at Planet Hollywood, uh, one of my favourite places to come in London. Um, and I am filming a video today with the YouTube sensation, Amy Lovett. Hello! Um, Amy's channel is a bit like mine, but much more popular, uh, with lots of uh, videos about theatre, Hamilton. Yeah, I do a lot of like Hamilton, Heathers, Derevan, ha like really contemporary musicals are kind of like my, my kind of thing that I like and I do covers and I do all bits and bobs really. And I think it's great. I discovered it a few months ago. Oh, thank you. And um, so we thought we'd get together and film some videos. Yeah. Um, so we've just filmed uh, a game of Heads Up, uh -huh. the Broadway edition, over on Amy's channel. Mm -hmm. So I will link in the description below to where you can go and watch that one. And make sure you subscribe to her channel. Today on this channel, I thought it would be fun stealing the idea from one of your videos um, um. <laughs> to talk about our unpopular theatre opinions. Mm -hmm. um, so let's start yeah let's jump into it okay so my first one is uh -huh. that i prefer andrew lloyd webber to sometimes do you mm. wow that's a really controversial thing isn't do you it? know what though i i think until i went to uni i would have said the same i used to be a real sondheim hater mm -hmm. i didn't like any of his stuff i didn't get it and then when i did a Sondheim show, and then it was kind of literally rammed down my throat, like you will like Sondheim. That's when I started to kind of come around to it. And, but I, 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 I get people having that opinion. Because it, it's even, a bit, it's a bit I much, even liked it? Stephen Ward. Did you? Uh, I never music, saw Stephen Ward. The show was very badly, like very cheaply done. Yeah. But the music is still, it's probably in my top five Andrew Lloyd really? Webber musicals. Yeah, I have to say, I, I probably listen to Andrew Lloyd Webber more than I listen to Sondheim as well. Just, I think it's a lot such easier. It's a commitment, Sondheim. Yeah, it is. I mean, Company's my favourite and I can't wait to see that. Yeah. But um, on the whole, I'd rather Andrew. Hmm. Fair. What are your opinions, guys? Let us know. So this is to do with the 2017 Tony Awards. Okay. And specifically, Best Revival. So, last year's, not this one's. Yeah, last year's. So, um... Hello Dolly won, and I've, I've said many times that I, I don't think it should have won. I, I haven't seen the production, but I just, I saw two of the other productions that have, that were um, nominated, and I just think that they were so incredible, and I don't, I just don't really like Hello Dolly. But, um, my unpopular opinion with it is that I know that lots of people think that Falsetto should have won, um, and I watched the record, the official recording of it, and, um, but I personally think that Miss Saigon should have won because I, I saw the London production. It was essentially the same production that was yeah. taken over. It was Eva as Kim. And I just think that as fantastic as Falsettos is, I think that Miss Saigon is, is better. And I preferred it. I don't think Cynthia Erivo is the queen of musical theatre. I think she's great. Like, she can sing, mm -hmm. but I don't, I'm not, I don't understand what everyone's blown away with. I've never met her, um, so I'm not saying what she's like. I'm just from the performances. She's yeah, she's got a brilliant voice, mm. but a lot of people have. I don't understand why everyone's falling over yeah. themselves for that. Well, it's a funny one with Cynthia because I have said many times in my life, I I do think that she is an incredible talent. I'm having seen her perform um, in very intimate um, situations. I've seen very small performances from her and that she she just has this kind of aura around her and she has this effortless ease that I think she's doing very well yeah in America mm -hmm. um, good on her yeah. West End Wilma award winner Is she? Um, rising star 2014 no and has she not risen she has risen oh my god that's amazing yeah. she didn't come <laughs> did she not she, <laughs> she didn't turn up but um <laughs> Um, <laughs> we really love that. <laughs> Rising star. Nah, I've already risen too much. Yeah. <laughs> um, back to Andrew Lloyd Webber. The Evita movie, mm -hmm. I think is pure garbage. I, I hate it. Madonna, what is that about? I've never, I mean I've watched it, but once, a long yeah. time ago. Um, I think it did the job. 
yeah. it set out to do. Yeah, I just think it could have been so much better because I, I love Evita, I'm a big, big fan of it. And I, it just didn't, I remember I'd, I'd just got into the, um, was it 2003, four when it was on at the, no, when it was on at the Adelphi. With Marty Pello. No, no, before um, Monte Pello. Did you see Monte Pello in it? I didn't. No, no, no. So Monte Pello was in it quite recently, right? At the Dominion. Yeah. Four so this, this was years ago. Philip Quast was um, Peron, and it was just like amazing. And I just got into it, and then I was like, right, I'm going to watch the film. Mm. And I was so disappointed. I just thought, like, this is, I think they should remake it, and they should do it right this time. I just really like Evita. So, sticking with that kind of theme uh -huh. of your uh, one, uh -huh. um, one of mine is that I don't think the concept mm -hmm. of celebrity casting is necessarily a bad thing. Oh my god, this is literally one of mine. Is it? <laughs> yeah, I, I've written down, I don't mind star casting. Whenever I've seen it, it's been okay. Yeah. Yeah, I... I, I kind of get it, and yeah, I, I'm I think not that... saying it's usually very good, mm -hmm. but I get the idea that if you don't have a big name, mm -hmm. you're not going to sell tickets, yeah. and then the 30 other people in the cast mm -hmm. are potentially going to have their contract ended sooner because Absolutely. no one's coming to see it. So I think it's a like the circle of life where yeah. you do need some names, otherwise yeah. those people that have trained and are brilliant at what mm -hmm. they do aren't yeah. going to be in the job. That's literally perfectly put. It's so true when you think about the other cast members and you do see such amazing shows close early and not have you know these amazing lives because they don't have any star names and it's not saying that a show needs a star name but it does, it does help. I, mm. I, I fully think that it's an okay thing. And I have to say, um, when I have seen shows with big names in it, the majority of the time, I think all the ones I've seen, they've been all right. Like, I mean, I never saw, what's her name, that girl from Girls Aloud in Once, in, not Once, what's Ghost. it called? In Ghost. She did about three shows, didn't Yeah, she? I never saw that, which I think is like the ultimate thing that everyone gets so angry about. But yeah. I think really, as far as I'm concerned, I, I get it. And I think that it, makes a lot of sense. Right, so that is our um, unpopular theatre opinions. Mm. Um, do let me know in the comments below um, whether you agree or disagree with any of our thoughts and also I'd love to hear what your um, opinions? Unpopular theatre opinions are. <laughs> um, so do let me know below. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you don't already and make sure you head over to Amy's YouTube channel oh. and subscribe to her there and watch the other video of us playing Heads yes, Up. absolutely. Thank Amazing. you so much. Thank you. And thanks to Planet Hollywood for having us here. Yeah. We're going to have some lunch in a minute here. Mm. Um, thanks. See you soon, guys. Bye.